Well, again, welcome to our annual dinner tonight. We are so happy you're here. Uh, before I introduce some important guests, I wanted to note that each of you has at your table a copy of our speaker, uh, David Brooks' recent book, The Social Animal. There, there's for you to take home. It's a great book. Although, uh, David, I, I'm from Anoka, so I wish he had a little more pictures. Um, aside from that, it was, you know, it was okay. I do have another book that I want to pitch, not because it's any good, but I got, a, I got a thousand of these in my garage. Now normally they're 20 bucks, right? But for all of you, after the show, see me 25 cents, okay? You could, it'd be a great thing for Halloween, right? Just drop them in the bag. It's kind of scary. So see me after the show. I, seriously, I got a bunch of them. Thanks, Governor, for that. I also want to um, uh, recognize some of our special guests here tonight. We've got a lot of elected officials State and county, Governor Dayton, again, thank you so much for being here. Much of Governor Dayton's cabinet is here. We really appreciate them being here. Also, some, uh, some key members of leadership, including Senate Majority Leader Amy Koch and House Speaker Kurt Zellers. Yeah. And also Senate Minority Leader Tom Bach and House Minority Leader Paul Thiessen. Thank you very much. And, and a reflection of the bipartisan nature of this dinner is the fact that we have both leaders of both the parties here. Tony Sutton from the Republicans is here and DFL leader Ken Martin is here too. So thank you very much. And Tony, Tony, do not mix up your dessert with Ken's, if you know what I mean. Uh, Congressman Eric Paulson is here tonight as well. Eric, where are you? That yeah, right there. If Eric, if uh, Congressman Paulson looks a little nervous, it's because redistricting is coming up and it sounds like his district is going to be a little more conservative. He might have to start acting like one. Ho! Oh. Oh. Congressman Chip Kravak is here as well. Where's Congressman... Kravak, thank you very much. <laughs> Congressman, if you're wondering why your name tag is in Magic Marker, uh, we only give the permanent ones to people who think are going to be around for a while. So, ho, oh, man. Don't worry, got Klobuchar coming up. We'll, we'll get to a, it's going to be bipartisan ripping tonight. Now, on the serious side, though, I do want to recognize someone who's been so important to youth mentoring. Youth mentoring has been an important part of what the partnership has been about for a number of years. And I want to recognize uh, Federated CEO Al Anikstead. Al Anikstead and his wife, Kathy. They raised $3 million this year for big brothers and big sisters. $3 million. And, Al, there's, and there's no administrative cost. He picks it up completely, so that all goes directly to kids. So he's just one of the many CEOs in the room who give not only a lot of personal time, but a lot of personal contributions to charity in this state. It's something that isn't talked about a lot, but we're proud of all of them. I also want to publicly say a fond goodbye to one of our uh, retiring partnership members, former president of the University of Minnesota, Bob Brunings. Bob leaves with a number of notable accomplishments at the University of Minnesota. Maybe the biggest is catching the second biggest walleye in the history of the state. There it is. Seriously, he did catch the second biggest walleye ever. And uh, perhaps the most impressive, seriously, statistic at the University of Minnesota is that under Bob's leadership, the graduation rate went from 25% to 50%. That's a big deal. Of course, there's other statistics that we really don't want to talk about. 
uh, during Bob's tenure. Um, <laughs> but you gotta, you gotta leave something for President Kaler to do, right, Bob? So uh, good luck with that, President Kaler.